yourself this. You are still going to make it. Despite nobody working with you. Despite everybody turned their back from you. Despite your illness. Despite what looked like in front of you is never going to happen. Despite what you are setting forth in your life right now. Don't look like a change is ever going to come. You cannot go through life working on something, working on a project, working on something you've been working with for a while and wake up and sometimes you do and just say, this that I've been working on for a long time. I don't, I don't see it happening. I just really, no doors are opening. Nobody's coming forth to say, I'll help you. Nobody's coming forward to say, hey, here's some finances. I know you might need a little help here and there. If that is not happening, you still don't give up. Your gut feeling on the inside and you knowing the presence of God is with you is going to keep you going. And that one day, you're in the valley right now, but one day you're going to be living in victory. You are still going to make it. No matter what it look like in front of you, you, it don't look like nothing is happening in front of you. It don't look like where you go, everybody go a total different way. The presence of God is with you every day, 24 seven, all day. Here's today's prayer. Psalm 42, one and two. As the deer longs for flowing streams, so my soul longs for you, O oh God. My soul thirsts for God, for the living God. Today's prayer. My Lord, I can relate to my own spiritual life, to the imagery of this song. Not all the time, of course. Sometimes the living water flows freely and my cup overflows with your sweet presence. But my soul moves through and patches too. Spiritual deserts where your blessings seem so far away. I'm not sure why it happens like this. Whatever the cause, these are tough times. And I hope I don't have too many of them. I rely on your presence and your promise that I'll find you. And if I seek with all my heart, I yearn for your refreshing presence. God, your presence is very important inside of me, to me, with me. I'm gonna make it. Because I know through the walk of the Holy Spirit, I'm going to make it. I know with the supernatural powers of God, I'm going to make it. I know with the resources, God's ability and God's strength, I'm going to make it. I know by God's will, God's way, and God's timing, I'm going to make it. Because here's what's going to happen. In those days when I just don't feel like it's going to happen for me, this is not going to turn around. Guess what happened? It take a turn in a split second. One thing, one person can give you some type of encouragement. We always thank God for his presence, his encouraging words, his encouraging presence, his patience, and his understanding. His grace and His mercy. You know without a doubt that it's going to happen for you. You know without a doubt that you are going to break through. And I just want you to remember that if that breakthrough is coming at God's time, God's will. Because here, here's the thing. If it wasn't going to happen for you, guess what would happen? Your doors wouldn't open as often as they would. That person that's in front of you wouldn't make a statement. 
something wouldn't give you, uh, wisdom wouldn't give you some type of encouragement to do it this way instead of that way. See, it's God the one that gives you the encouragement not to stay on the same path, but sometimes you gotta take a different path. Lean on the sweet presence of God. Lean on the Holy Spirit. Lean on the supernatural wisdom of God. And you will make it. I hope this encourages you today. I hope that you take this day and you enjoy your family. Enjoy your kids. Enjoy your, your husband. Enjoy your social life. Your friends. And if you're alone today, enjoy yourself. Take a cup of coffee, sip on it, and just say, oh, that is so good. I see you in next Sunday morning's prayer.